Some called it a new day, others a new beginning, but it was clear it was a night for celebration. Thousands of well-known Prince Georgians from council members to police officers to school superintendent Dr. William Height came dressed to impress at a place that has become a crown jewel for development, National Harbor. With his wife Krista by his side, the new county executive, 52-year-old Baker, a lawyer and former delegate, addressed the crowd very briefly, but his words were inspiring. Choose the fairest star in sight so that when the mob carries praise or blame too far, that we can choose something like a star to stay on my line and to be stayed. That is the charge of Prince George's County, that we, remember, we must remember that we must always be true north, that things are going to go up and things are going to go down. Baker wore a timeless tuxedo by local designer and business owner Kenneth Flanagan. When you were designing this tuxedo for Rashawn Baker, what, was, what did he want and what did you want? Well, we wanted to do timeless. You know, we wanted to get back to basic. So he wanted to look very debonair but timeless. A federal probe against outgoing County Executive Jack Johnson and his wife, newly sworn in County Council member Leslie Johnson from District 6, didn't dampen the celebrations, but it did spark conversation. Now it is Rashawn Baker's night and everyone here knows that, but the topic that is dominating the conversation here is Leslie Johnson. I have faith that this county is going to uh, bounce back from the incidents that happened recently and um, uh, might even come out even stronger as a result of that. But uh, What are your thoughts about having to work with Mrs. Johnson? Mrs. Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Leslie Johnson. Well, you know, the much of that is out of my control. I mean, by law, uh, she is uh, entitled to serve until proven guilty. I will let the judicial system play out and focus on what the people of District 7 elected me to do, was to focus on, you know, better county services, uh, more economic development in the communities, in the established Do you communities. think she should have taken the oath? Um, I said I'm going to let the judicial system play out. Absolutely, there's nothing to say that she should not be able to take the oath. What's your one expectation that you have from this administration and you that's the, the one hope that you have for the county? Right. Well, I mean, it's it's economic development and jobs that we're going to be, you know, we're going to be promoting more and more economic development, around, especially around our metro stations. Now, as you just saw, the entertainment was provided by well-known singer Regina Bell, and later the guests danced the night away with the XPD band, and it was certainly a lot of fun last night. A lot of people from the county, and, uh, you know, these are certainly some new faces, obviously, that we're seeing some changes here, And but everybody was just hoping that this new administration will certainly take the county in the right direction. And noticeably missing was Jack Johnson and Leslie yes. Johnson as well. Yes, we did not see them last night and I did ask a Baker spokesperson if they were invited and they did not answer my question. Well they missed quite a party. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>